Hey, it's Sue. Thanks for joining me for today's Bible reading. It is for June 16th, and I'm reading Psalm 17 through 20. Now, one thing before I start reading. There is something that occurs in the book of Psalms that's kind of fun. That is, there have been, over the years, songs, modern songs, written based on the Psalms, certain Psalms, where they take the lyrics of the Psalms out and write a song. So, I over the years, when I've been reading my Bible, I like to notate them. Sometimes I would put a little musical symbol by it in my Bible, or I'd stop and sing the song if I knew it. It's just something fun that I've done over the years. Kind of silly, you know, but fun. And the other day, there were, I think in our first reading of Psalms, on the 14th, there were already two of those, if not more. And I made a comment that I would put the link for those in the description of the YouTube, and I did. There are multiple versions of many of these songs, so I just picked a couple that I found when I was uploading, editing and uploading the video. Now, a lot of the psalms are songs that David wrote, others, um, I don't even know, actually, now that I think about it, all the different categories of the psalms. I think some of them were poems also, or laments, like a dirge. Um, I don't know. And on that note, I will be sure to put the link for the Bible Project overview of the book of Psalms in the description, and I'll add it to the two days we already did. I forgot to do that. So I'm sure that will explain more about the category of Psalms slash poems slash laments that are in this book. Um, you know, many of them extol the Lord. I guess you could call them exaltations, other descriptors. But some of them are modern songs. And it's just fun to notate that. So I'll I'll try to remember throughout to put some links in the description just for a little fun thing to do while we're reading through this much longer book than the ones that we've been reading. As I said the other day, this is going to go all the way through July 12th. 150 uh, Psalms in all, or chapters, if you will. 150 chapters in the book of Psalms. So let's get started today with chapter 17, verse 1, A Prayer by David. Hear, Yahweh, my righteous plea. Give ear to my prayer that doesn't go out of deceitful lips. Let my sentence come out of your presence. Let your eyes look on equity. You have proved, proved, it's a funny um, punctuation. You have proved my heart. Bear with me, I'm being distracted because I want to write that one psalm down. In fact, let me go back and reread it. I love this. Verse 2 says, let my sentence come out of your presence. I love that. That verse never jumped out at me before. And so let me just start at verse one, since I'm only three verses in. Start over here. Hear, Yahweh, my righteous plea. Give ear to my prayer that doesn't go out of deceitful lips. Let my sentence come out of your presence. Let your eyes look on equity. You have proved my heart. You have visited me in the night. You have tried me and found nothing. I have resolved that my mouth shall not disobey. As for the deeds of men, by the word of your lips, I have kept myself from the ways of the violent. So he's pleading his case before the Lord here. Verse 5. My steps have held fast to your paths. My feet have not slipped. I have called on you, for you will answer me, God. Turn your ear to me. Hear my speech. Show your marvelous loving kindness. You who save those who take refuge by your right hand from their enemies. See how sure David is? Because he's been saved by the Lord before. He knows. He's known this all his life. So I love that. Show your marvelous loving kindness, he said. Verse 8. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings from the wicked who oppress me, my deadly enemies who surround me. They close up their callous hearts. With their mouth they speak proudly. They have now surrounded us in our steps. They set their eyes to cast us down to the earth. He is like a lion that is greedy of his prey, as it were a young lion lurking in secret places. Arise, Yahweh, confront him, cast him down. Deliver my soul from the wicked by your sword, from men by your hand, Yahweh, from men of the world whose portion is in this life. You fill the belly of your cherished ones, your sons have plenty, and they store up wealth for their children. As for me, 
I shall see your face in righteousness. I shall be satisfied when I awake with seeing your form. Chapter 18 For the Chief Musician by David the Servant of Yahweh who spoke to Yahweh the words of this song in the day that Yahweh delivered him from the hand of all his enemies and from the hand of Saul. I love you, Yahweh, my strength. Yahweh is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer, my God, my rock in whom I take refuge, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my high tower. I call on Yahweh who is worthy to be praised, and I am saved from my enemies. The cords of death surrounded me, the floods of ungodliness made me afraid. It seemed like part of that is a song, too. I'm going to have to think about that. And feel free to put in the comments if you recognize one. Verse 3. I call on Yahweh, who is worthy to be praised, and I am saved from my enemies. The cords of death surrounded me. The floods of ungodliness made me afraid. The cords of Sheol, that's the place of the dead, were around me. The snares of death came on me. In my distress, I called on Yahweh and cried to my God. I heard my, he heard my voice out of his temple. My cry came before him. I'm sorry. My cry before him came into his ears. Then the earth shook and trembled. The foundations also of a mountain, foundations also of the mountains quaked and were shaken because he was angry. Smoke went out of his nostrils. Consuming fire came out of his mouth. Coals were kindled by it. He bowed the heavens also and came down. Thick darkness was under his feet. He rode on a cherub and flew. Yes, he soared on the wings of the wind. He made darkness his hiding place, his pavilion around him. Darkness of waters, thick clouds of the skies. As the brightness before him, his thick clouds passed. Hailstones and coals of fire. Yahweh also thundered in the sky. The Most High uttered his voice. Hailstones and coals of fire. He sent out his arrows and scattered them. He routed them with great lightning bolts. Then he, then the channels of the waters appeared. The foundations of the world were laid bare at your rebuke, Yahweh, at the blast of the breath of your nostrils. He sent from on high. He took me. He drew me out of many waters. He delivered me from my strong enemy, from those who hated me, for they were too mighty for me. See, there you go. There's the testimony of how God saved him in an impossible situation. Well, the psalm right before he was saying, right, that he knew God would. That's what I was saying, that he had experience with this, so his faith is strong. And here's an example of that. Verse 18, they came on me in the day of my calamity, but Yahweh was my support. He brought me also into a large place. He delivered me because he delighted in me. Yahweh has rewarded me according to my righteousness According to the cleanness of my hands, he has recompensed me. For I have kept the ways of Yahweh and have not wickedly departed from my God. For all his ordinances were before me. I didn't put away his statutes from me. I was also blameless with him. I kept myself from my iniquity. Therefore, Yahweh has rewarded me according to my righteousness, according to the cleanness of my hands in his eyesight. With the merciful, you will show yourself merciful. With the perfect man, you will show yourself perfect. With the pure, you will show yourself pure. With the crooked, you will show yourself shrewd. For you will save the afflicted people, but the arrogant eyes will bring down. you will bring down. For you will light my lamp, Yahweh. My God will light up my darkness. For by you, I advance through a troop. By my God, I leap over a wall. As for God, his way is perfect. Yahweh's word is tried. He is a shield to all those who take refuge in him. For who is God except Yahweh? Who is a rock besides our God? The God who arms me with strength and makes my way perfect. He makes my feet like deer's feet and sets me on high places. He teaches my hands to war so that my arms bend a bow of bronze. You have also given me the shield of your salvation. Your right hand sustains me. Your gentleness has made me great. You have enlarged my steps under me. My feet have not slipped. I will pursue my enemies and overtake them. I won't turn away until they are consumed. I will strike them through so that they will not be able to rise. They shall fall under my feet. For you have armed me with strength to battle. You have subdued under me those who rose up against me. You have also made my enemies turn their backs to me, that I may cut off those who hate me. Remember, there were those 
giants in the land that David drove out. From what I understand, he finished driving the rest of them out of the area. The ones that the Israelites didn't completely drive out when they first went over into the land of Canaan. So these were despicably evil. He's not just, you know, bloodthirsty here. They were despicably evil. Um, then I beat them small as the dust before the wind. I cast them out as the mire of the streets. You have delivered me from the strivings of the people. You have made me the head of the nations. A people whom I have not known shall serve me. As soon as they hear of me, they shall obey me. The foreigners shall submit themselves to me. The foreigners shall fade away and shall come trembling out of their strongholds. Yahweh lives. Blessed be my rock. Exalted be the God of my salvation, even the God who executes vengeance for me and subdues peoples under me. He rescues me from my enemies. Yes, you lift me up above those who rise up against me. You deliver me from the violent man. I love that one. Therefore, I will give you. Th I will give thanks to you, Yahweh, among the nations, and will sing praises to your name. He gives great deliverance to his king and shows loving kindness to his anointed, to David and to his offspring forevermore. Chapter 19. For the chief musician, a psalm by David. The heavens declare the glory of God. The expanse shows his handiwork. Day after day they pour out speech, and night after night they display knowledge. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. Their voice has gone out through all the earth, their words to the end of the world. In them he has set a tent for the sun, which is as a bridegroom coming out of his room, like a strong man rejoicing to run his course. He is going out, excuse me, his going out is from the end of the heavens, his circuit to its ends. There is nothing hidden from its heat. Yahweh's law is perfect, restoring the soul. Yahweh's covenant is sure, making wise the simple. Yahweh's precepts are right, rejoicing the heart. Yahweh's commandment is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of Yahweh is clean, enduring forever. Yahweh's ordinances are true and righteous altogether. They are more to be desired than gold. Now, it's talking about the word here that we are taking time out of our day right now to focus on. Listen to this, verse 10. They are more to be desired than gold, yes, than much fine gold, sweeter also than honey and the extract of a honeycomb. Moreover, your servant is warned by them. In keeping them, there is great reward. Who can discern his errors? Forgive me from hidden errors. Keep back your servant also from presumptuous sins. Let them not have dominion over me. Then I will be upright. I will be blameless and innocent of great transgression. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight. Yahweh, my rock and my redeemer. Last chapter, verse 20. For the chief musician, a psalm of David. May Yahweh answer you in the day of trouble. May the name of God of Jacob set you up on high, send you help from the sanctuary, grant you support from Zion, remember all your offerings, and accept your burnt sacrifice. Selah. May he grant you your heart's desire and fulfill all your counsel. We will triumph in your salvation. In the name of our God, we will set up our banners. May Yahweh grant all your requests. Now I know that Yahweh saves his anointed. He will answer him and from his holy heaven with the saving strength of his right hand. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we trust in the name of Yahweh our God. They are bowed down and fallen, but we rise up and stand upright. Save Yahweh. Let the king answer us when we call. That's it for today's reading. Thanks for joining me. God bless you.